hand over to Dr. Kurt Bock. Thank you, Ms. Schick, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. On my part as well, I'm glad that you all came to Ludwigshafen to our annual press conference, which by tradition uh, takes place a little later than the uh, publication of the final figures eight weeks afterwards. But on the other hand, you have the complete annual report, and you already know what kind of dividend we propose to the AGM. And we can tell you more about 20. 13 than four weeks ago. So BSF maintained its good performance in 2012. We exceeded the 2011 record levels in sales and income from operations, i.e. EBIT, and once again earned a substantial premium on the cost of capital. We were able to achieve this despite a challenging economic environment. Overall economic growth was significantly weaker than we had expected at the beginning of 2012. At 2.2%, global gross domestic product did not rise as sharply as in 2011. Growth in worldwide chemical production, excluding pharmaceuticals, slowed from 3.8% in 2011 to only 2.6%. The emerging markets of Asia showed markedly weak growth in the first half of the year. The upswing in demand expected for the second half of the year failed to materialize. In this environment, we were unable to increase sales volumes in the chemicals business. At the same time, raw material costs were higher than in the previous year. For the capital markets, 2012 was a volatile yet successful year overall. BSF's share performed well and closed the year at 71.15 euro, which was 32% above the previous year's closing price. With dividends reinvested, BSF shares gained 37%, once again significantly outperforming the German and European stock markets, as well as global chemical industry indices. We are maintaining our attractive dividend policy. At the annual shareholders' meeting, as you saw, we will once again propose a higher dividend at 2.6 euro. In 2012 and at the beginning of this year, we are continuing to implement our We Create Chemistry strategy with the purchase of Equatec and the completion of the acquisition of Pronova Biopharma in January 2013, we have strengthened our consumer-oriented business with omega-3 fatty acids. With the acquisition of Becker Underwood, we have invested in the growth field functional crop care. We are expanding our business with battery materials through Ovonic, Novolite, the electrolyte activities of Merck, and a participation in Scion Power. We have also set a course for further growth in the oil and gas segment. We will acquire shares in producing fields in the North Sea as part of a transaction with Statoil. We want to expand our cooperation with Gazprom in oil and gas production in Western Siberia. In return, we will transfer shares in producing fields in the Southern North Sea and our 50% share in the gas trading and storage business to our long-term partners. We are seizing new opportunities in the United States as well. We are building a new world-scale plant for formic acid at our Verbund site in Geismar, Louisiana, thus taking advantage of the low natural gas prices in the United States. And in Shanghai, we opened our Innovation Campus Asia Pacific in 2012, a research center. To align ourselves even more closely with our customers and increase operational and technological excellence, we have undertaken measures such as the optimization of our organization and reducing the number of segments from six to five. We will also keep a tight rein on costs. With our STEP program, we are improving our productivity and internal processes in all divisions and regions. Starting at the end of 2015, STEP will contribute around 1 billion euro to earnings each year. The BSF team once again demonstrated its enormous energy in 2012. My heartfelt thanks go out to all employees for our success, which is only possible because of their competence and their high level of commitment. Now, let's take a look at the numbers. 
Sales in the fourth quarter were 19.6 billion euro, 9% higher than in the previous year in the same quarter. This increase was mainly due to higher volumes in almost all segments, as well as price and currency effects. At 1.8 billion euro, EBIT before special items was 18% above the level of the previous fourth quarter, mainly due to significantly higher volumes in oil and gas, as well as improved earnings in polyurethanes and construction chemicals. At 1.6 billion euro, EBIT was at a solid level in the fourth quarter. The decrease compared with the same quarter of the previous year mainly resulted from the special income of around 600 million euro from the disposal of the Styrenix business in the previous year. In addition, EBIT in the fourth quarter contained higher special charges due to restructuring measures in construction chemicals. For the full year, we increased our sales to 78.7 billion euro, up 7% compared with 2011. We improved EBIT before special items by 5% to 8.9 billion euro and EBIT by almost 5% to around 9 billion euro. The oil and gas and agricultural solutions segments achieved new records, while development in our chemicals business was weaker than in 2011 and lower than we had anticipated at the beginning of, 2011, of 2012. The higher sales were mainly a result of increased demand in the agricultural solutions segment and the national natural gas trading business sector, as well as the continuous production of crude oil in Libya. By contrast, we posted a 3% decline in volumes in the chemicals business, comprising the chemicals, plastics, performance products and functional solutions segments. Currency effects led to sales increases in all segments. The divestiture of our fertilizer and styrenics business reduced sales. Net income was below the level of the previous year due in part to the higher earnings contribution from oil and gas and thus the significantly higher taxes. Furthermore, Gains from the sale of our shares in K&S AG in 2011 were predominantly tax-free. This brings me to the outlook for 2013. The global economy is likely to grow slightly faster. However, the economic risks remain high. Austerity measures to improve public finances will continue to dampen demand in the Eurozone and in the United States. Worldwide economic growth will be bolstered, however, by low interest rates and government stimulus measures in the emerging markets. We expect a gradual decline in economic uncertainty, although the the election last night did not really contribute to this, and an increase in investor and consumer confidence. We anticipate an upturn in the chemical industry, primarily supported by stronger growth in the emerging markets. Our outlook for 2013 is based on the following economic conditions. World economic growth plus 2.4 percent after 2.2 percent, growth in global chemical production 3.6 percent, one percentage point more than in the previous year, and basically the same oil prices, $110 per barrel, and an average euro-dollar exchange rate of $1.3 per euro. We aim to grow again in 2013 and exceed the 2012 levels in sales and EBIT before special items. We strive to increase sales and earnings in all operating segments. The expected increase in demand, together with our measures to improve operational excellence, and raise efficiency will contribute to this. We aim to earn a high premium on our cast of capital once again in 2013. A while ago, we presented our We Create Chemistry strategy. In a nutshell, it says we see excellent growth opportunities for the chemical industry and especially for BASF. We aim to achieve sustainable growth with products and innovations by combining economic success with environmental protection and social responsibility. We summed this up in our corporate purpose, which is we create chemistry for a sustainable future. Global trends are the basis for our growth strategy. More and more people are living on this planet. They need more resources as well as more and better nutrition, and they all strive to improve their quality of life. 
The chemical industry helps to develop solutions to achieve this and to use natural resources more efficiently. Examples include better automotive catalysts, lighter weight vehicles, more efficient insulation materials and crop protection products that are even more efficient and can thus be applied more sparingly. We are also investing in the development and production of battery materials. High performance and more affordable batteries are the main requirements for increasing electromobility. In the past year, we have acquired a range of smaller battery chemical manufacturers, started producing cathode materials in the United States and reinforced our research activities. We believe in the market success of battery technology and are willing to take a long-term approach. The reason is evident. Innovations are the basis for future profitable growth and thus lie at the core of our competitiveness. And we have lots of good ideas. Therefore, we will once again increase our R&D spending. After expenditures of 1.7 billion euro in the past year, around 9% more than in 2011. We innovate to make our customers more successful. In the future, the chemical industry will no longer simply offer chemicals, but increasingly the focus will be on competence in chemistry that is combining chemicals with application expertise. Thus, we are focusing on intelligent solutions based on new systems and functional materials. A current example is our cooperation with Adidas for the Energy Boost running shoe. It's this shoe. Don't worry, I will not hit the lectern or throw it at you, but I can tell you this shoe is extremely lightweight and includes a newly developed material, expanded thermoplastic polyurethane. This is the white midsole here, which cushions off very, very well. The shoe was launched 10 days ago by Adidas in New York, and it's a joint development. The midsole is a joint development between Adidas and engineers of BSF, and I tested it, and I can tell you, you can run much better if you wear it. The shoe will be launched shortly. You cannot buy it today, but you can look at the material used. And I think in front of you, you have a little ball like this. And this ball should have the same features as the midsole, and I will not throw the ball at you either. But I can tell you the energy that you put in will come out again and we are sure that this shoe will be a major economic success for Adidas. Thus far my contribution to improve the running culture and now Hans Engel will give you additional details on the financial data segments and regions of BASF, also figures of the fourth quarter.